वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैप्टर फोर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल विजुअल बेसिक फॉर एप्लीकेशन बेसिक टू एडवांस्ड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दिस फोर टॉपिक्स दिस आर क्रिएटिंग मैक्रो बाय राइटिंग बीबीए कोड रनिंग द मैक्रो स्टेप बाय स्टेप कोड एग्जीक्यूशन एंड सीट रेफरेंसिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी सेलेक्ट चैप्टर फोर क्लिक ऑन डेवलपर टैब देन विजुअल बेसिक दिस ओपन्स दिस वीवीए विंडो to write the code we have to first insert a module because in vva every code is written inside a module to insert the module click on insert tab of vva then click on module here you see a module is inserted the default name is given as module 1 if you want to change the name of the module you can click on it click on view tab then click on properties window Here in the properties window, you can change the name of the module. For example, here I am putting my first code. After writing the name, press Enter to rename it. Let me close this properties window so that there will be wider space for the module. Now here in the module, we have to create a sub procedure to write the code. For example, if you want to write some values here in the cell, then first of all write a sub procedure. For this, write S U B give a space, then put the name of the sub procedure where I am writing input underscore value. When you write the name of the sub procedure, don't include any space because the space is not supported. And while writing the procedure name, don't use the words that is already reserved in VV. For example, the words like sheet, range, copy, paste. workbook these are the examples of name that is already taken in vba language so don't use these names when you write the sub procedure if you use the already taken names then it may create conflict in the code after putting the name open and close bracket then press enter it will automatically give this end sub it means end of the sub procedure now here between this sub and end sub we have to write the code suppose that if you want to write bva in cell a1 then the code will be range open bracket double quotation put the cell address that is a1 double quotation close bracket dot value is equal to then type double quotation bba double quotation then press enter now if i run this code the text vva will be written here in the cell a1 to run the code click on this run button that is given here in the toolbars or you can also click on the run tab then click on this run tool the shortcut key for running the macro is f5 before you click on the run button you should put the cursor inside this sub procedure then click on the run button here you see the text vva is written in cell a1 Similarly if you want to write a numeric value here in the a2 cell then the code will be range open bracket double quotation a2 double quotation close bracket dot value is equal to 100 when you write the numeric value don't put the double quotations now if you hit on the run button here you see the number 100 is written in cell a2 there is another method of writing the value in cell that is the cells method for this let me hit enter and write the code that is cells open bracket in the row index and column index we have to put the row number and column number for the cell suppose that if you want to put a value in c4 cell then the row index will be 4 so type here 4 comma in the column index number put 3 because the index number of column c is 3 1 2 3 it means fourth row of the third column now close bracket dot value is equal to double quotation excel double quotation now when you run this code the old excel will be written here in the c4 cell let me hit on run button here you see excel is written here in the c4 so this is the basic example of writing code in vva after writing the code in vba this will be visible in the macros section let me close this vba window then click on this macros here you see the input value macro is given 
to execute this macro you can simply click on this run button for this let me first delete these values from the cell click on macros then select the macro and click on run here you see the code is executed in vba module you can write multiple macros if you want to create a different sub procedure then you can click below the end sub then here you start creating another sub procedure for example sub my underscore code open and close bracket press enter now this is a different sub procedure in this procedure let me write msgbox which is the short form of message box space double quotation then type i am learning vba double quotation now if you run this code a message box will be displayed with the text i am learning vba let me click on the run button and here you see a message box is given which has the text i am learning vva click ok to go back to the vva window and in vva you can run one macro at one time suppose that here if i delete this go to visual basic currently this second macro is selected if i hit on the run button only the second macro runs here you see the message box is given if you want to run this first macro or first sub procedure you have to first put your cursor inside this sub procedure then click on the run button and here you see the code is executed which has written these values in the cell the next topic that we are covering today is step by step code execution step by step code execution means running the code line by line to learn this step by step code execution let me select this chapter 4 again then delete these values from here go to visual basic then add here some more code lines now to run this code step by step you have to go to the debug tab then here you will see this step into tool the shortcut key for executing the code step by step is f8 so let me click on this step into which goes to the first code line which is the name of the sub procedure now to go to the next code line press the f8 key in the keyboard that goes to the second code line now when you press f8 again this code line will be executed let's hit on f8 here you see the first code line executed which has returned the old vva in a1 cell press f8 again 100 is written in cell a2 press f8 again the old excel is written in the cell c4 press f8 the number 500 is written in the cell a5 press f8 the number 600 is written in the cell a6 now again press f8 and here you see the value in cell a5 and a6 is added so in this way we can execute the code step by step by using the step into tool the next topic of today's chapter is seat referencing sheet referencing means defining the sheet in which the code will run because currently whatever code we run here will execute in the active sheet let me click on visual basic currently this chapter 4 sheet is selected which is called the active sheet and the code will run in this chapter 4 sheet if you select sheet 1 go to vva then run this code then this code will execute here in this seat one let me click on the run button and here you see this code executes in this active seat similarly if i go to seat 4 and run the code then the code will execute here in the seat 4 but what if you want to run the code in a specific seat suppose that you have selected the vva tutorial seat and you want to run the code in a different seat for example let me create here a new seat the name of the sheet i will put here test now if i want to run the code in this sheet only then i have to 
refer the sheet for that let me select this bba tutorial go to visual basic now create here a new sub procedure by going below this second macro then write here the name of the process that is sub sheet underscore referencing bracket open bracket close press enter a new sub procedure is created here now to refer the specific sheet of the workbook you have to write the code in this way which is this workbook dot sheets open parenthesis now here in the index put the name of the sheet which is test so here type double quotation test double quotation close bracket dot range open bracket then put the sale address where you want to input the value for example a1 dot value is equal to 1000 now when you run this code the code will run in this specific sheet because in this code this specific sheet is defined by giving the name of the sheet here in this code you have to write this this workbook object because if there is multiple workbooks opened in your system then the code will run in the active workbook only so to run the code in the workbook where this vva is opened we have to write the this workbook object before referring to any sheet now let me click on the run button and go here in the test sheet here you see 1000 is written in the cell a1 you can refer to the sheet by using other methods also for that let me go to visual basic again and here let's see the another method of referencing the sheet for this let me go here in the second code line then put here this workbook dot sheets open parenthesis now here in the index number you can directly provide the index number of the sheet here in this case the index number of this test sheet is sheet number two because it is on the second position in our workbook there are total one two three four five sheets and this test sheet is in the second position so here you can put two in the sheet index number close parenthesis dot range a1 dot value is equal to 200 now if you run this code the value 200 will be return in the cell a2 let me click on the run button and here you see the value 200 is written in the a2 cell of this test sheet the next method of sheet referencing is you can use the sheet code name if you see in the project explorer the sheet code for the vva tutorial sheet is sheet 1 if you see for the test the sheet code for this test sheet is sheet 5 so you can use this sheet code to refer the sheet and while referencing the sheet based on sheet code you don't need to write this this workbook because the sheet code is already inside this workbook so don't write this this workbook in case of referencing the sheet based on sheet code you can directly write here sheet 5 which is the sheet code for test sheet dot range a3 dot value is equal to 1500 now if you run this code this number 1500 will be written in the a3 cell of this test sheet let me select this go to vva then run this code now go and see in the test sheet here you see 1500 is written in the a3 cell so these are different methods of uh, referencing the sheet and out of these three methods this first method is most commonly used but you can also apply these two methods so this is all about the chapter 4 on excel vva tutorial in the next chapter we will learn the method of data copy and paste using vva code thank you so much for watching this video